it's Monday. That means it is time for the troubleshooters. Whew, that takes a lot out of me. You don't realize it until, until your lung capacity is a little lower than what it should be. Um, so for those of you who don't know, don't keep up with me. That's okay. I'll tell you now. Uh, last Wednesday, I was feeling under the weather. Uh, so I went home and uh, I got tested the next day after a six-hour wait. Sure enough, your boys got the Omicron, so I'm officially a Transformer. Um, we decided that the coughing sound is what Transformer sound they make whenever you transform into a patient. <laughs> uh, so um, I am not feeling 100%. On top of that, my boy Otter is not feeling 100% either. So tonight we're going to do a little bit of a shorter episode, but we didn't want to miss out since we had the vacation and everything else like that. Um, we have some loose ends to wrap up, so we want to say thank you to everybody for hanging in there with us today. Um, let's go over some of the things that we have. So first of all, thank you to D&D Beyond for continuing use of all of their new nice stuff. In five days, Wizards of the Coast has a new product dropping. It is um, like an expanded rules gift set. It's got Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, and and it's Morden Kanan's... Morden Kanan presents Monsters of the Multiverse. And it's a revamped monster manual with additional stuff put in there and changed around. It is a boxed gift set. <clears throat> the alternate cover is uh, all in white. The books are all white, and they've got just a simple image on them. They look gorgeous. Those come out on the 22nd. Sorry, my, ma my brain is doing math. 18, 19. Let me double check that. That could be wrong. It's the 25th. Sorry. It comes out on the 25th, which is next Tuesday. So the 25th, those drop. I was like, that wouldn't drop on a weird Saturday weekend thing like that. Uh, anyways, those come out on the next Tuesday, the 25th. You can go pick those up. Uh, let's see. They have a new book coming out in March, but I don't know all the details. I know it's a wild mount or inspired by something. So we'll see more of that coming up. However, your boy will be coming up in about two and a half weeks now. Your boy will be traveling to the Great White North of Fort Wayne, Indiana to run Winter Fantasy. Um, he may or may not have been involved with some of the writing. I can't say much beyond that. Uh, I will say that I'm going to be running games up there for Wild Beyond the Witchlight. And speaking of Wild Beyond the Witchlight, if you enjoy playing D&D &D and you would like to play D&D &D online with me and some fellow players, after Troubleshooters is over with, after next season, we will be doing a Wild Beyond the Witchlight game. I will be looking for new players. It will be the same format. You're going to have to submit an audition where you've got yourself recorded being any character, the character you want to play, a character that you have played in the past it doesn't matter. I'm not looking to see what character you're going to be. I want to see how your on-screen presence is going to be. Um, I will always look at people's personalities as far as how they are on camera, energy levels, and things like that. I will be looking at your equipment. I want to make sure that your equipment is up to speed for us to run it. And uh, we'll be looking at those. I will let you know more whenever we have those additions go out or that a call for the casting call go out. Um, and if you are not following us, as Otter likes to remind me, tell everybody, join the Discord so that way you can follow and find out when we do that thing and where you can submit those things so that I can see those things and you can go and play this thing. And now there is a link below because somebody, I'm not going to say who, but he has a beautiful beard and a bald head, has revamped our Twitch page. <laughs> it's a beautiful beard, comma, and bald head, as in applying that both are beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, he has been reworking stuff and very judgmental eyes. <laughs> the thing is, is that he narrows his eyes at you. And it's just like, oh, I've really messed up. <laughs> Luckily, I've never been on the other side of that. So uh, we'll let, let Trizelta tell us all about that. So uh, we'll be doing casting call for Wild Beyond the Witchlight coming up soon. As well as that will not be episodic. That will be a straight playthrough every Monday. So 
just FYI, make sure you have that day off, you know, or if you're going to be playing, we'll be playing at the same time that we're doing it now, uh, between 6 and 9 p.m. So just an FYI for everybody to know. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Uh, we have Winter Fantasy. We've got we've got the um, Huntsville Pop Culture and Comic Expo coming up in, a, in April, and I will be there for that, as well as RPG Con coming out in May. So I will be busy for the next half of this, and then turn around and there will be Origins at some point in time, I think. Gen Con again, and I'll probably be at Gen Con. I don't think that I'll make Dragon Con this year. Oh, thank you for reminding me. The Tuesday game premiered last week. I know we all love D&D, but I also like... What would you call that? Because it's not really sci-fi. I mean, we love tabletop games in general, but Star Wars... They are playing Star Wars on Tuesday night games. So tomorrow night, you can tune in and watch them play Star Wars. And it is one of Jason. Jason is an amazing game master for everything outside of D&D. And he's even great at D&D. He just likes all these other things. Because he's like, there's more than D&D. Um, Tuesday nights, he really showcases what's going on there. So if you're interested in seeing them play... It's brand new. You can jump right in. I think we have the first video up on YouTube. If not, it'll be up there soon. He's giving me a thumbs up. means it's already up there, so you can jump in. Watch that, then tune in tomorrow and watch them play. It's a great cast, a great group of players. And again, like I said, Jason is just an amazing GM. Um, go give him some love and show off. Wednesday nights, we're back. Tuesday or Thursday nights, we're back. Now, I will say this much. I know that JT isn't feeling the best this week. It seems like it's kind of hit everybody this week, this last week. So Wednesday may be postponed a week just because of not feeling well. But we'll let you know as those details unfold. Um, Thursday nights are back. I think the only night that we don't have back within the flow right now is Saturday. As a matter of fact, we're just waiting to pin down the start date from them. Uh, conflicting schedules and things like that. So make sure you tune in because we are here every night of the week with the exception of Friday. and you know, Saturdays for now, but that'll come up soon. Uh, all right. Last week they had a coup. They had this big plan to take over the directorate building and they were geared up, ready to go. But investigating the area found out that there were a lot fewer soldiers than they originally thought. And even some of the ones were more pressed into service. And then all of a sudden, Nothing. They stormed the directorate building and without a single loss of life, maybe a little hand damage, they were able to take over the building and capture Napier, their, the officer in charge. Now with a prisoner of war, we're going to find out what they can glean from him. Where have all their major forces gone? Where have all their leaders gone? Where have all the good men gone? Well, without further ado, let's start tonight's episode of The Troubleshooters. The streets are quiet, as you have once again taken up the place of an HQ. The army that you had amassed and the forces that were there, those that were pressed into service, have dispersed. Napier sits on a chair, his hands cuffed, sitting on a table in front of you. Palm paces the room quietly, every once in a while glancing up at Napier. He looks at you a lot and says, well, I believe I leave the questioning to you all. See what you can gather from him. I'm going to check on everyone else to make sure everyone's okay. He turns 
and leaves the room, leaving you alone with this small, clearly intimidated man. Are you are you going to uh, do what you will to me? I won't surrender. I won't not surrender. I won't tell you anything. I'm just gonna walk over to him and like start just poking his upper arm as if he's like inspecting a piece of meat. Oh, <laughs> stop that! Ow! Stop that! Stop that! Stop it! I'm gonna poke his leg. What does he plan to do to me? Gonna like take off his shoe. <clears throat> no, those are mine. Those are designer made. Get that pack, you brute! You're taking off his sock. What are you? What are you doing? 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 <laughs> Just gonna look at him uh -huh. and continue what I was doing. What were you doing? Just like poking him. Like spreading his toes and like looking at his bones and stuff. <laughs> oh, my feet are tickly. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Is he going to eat me? Can I ask you a question? I'm not really much of a position to deny your request. Yes. I didn't ask you a question. I just did uh, before that. So don't don't speak unless you're spoken to. I'm trying to see if your bones will be good for broth. Um, don't breathe unless I tell you to. I am just now. going to kind of sit on the floor across from Napier and using inside, in, inside voice. We've had a really bad couple days. I would probably just answer to the best of your ability because honestly we don't need a confrontation to happen. I don't think you're going to like if a confrontation happens. Malaya, you can have any information that you would like. Please feel free to ask me anything. I will tell you they took the forces to Central Europe. I'm not sure where they were going exactly. They really didn't give me much information because they knew I was a bit of a nonce. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe what he's spewing? I'm so method the whole time you were doing that. I literally had my leg held out. And when you dropped it, I... Floor. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Inside check. I would like to make one as well, if that's all right. <laughs> yes. What uh, is nine. the... 11 plus 8. It's a 13 plus 8. <laughs> uh. 21 and 19. Okay. Um, yes. He is... The information... He, he was given the orders of maintain and hold the directorate make regular shifts he asked really didn't give him any because they he would take and be a patsy based so you know that they're going to central europe in Having some lag issues with you, Cap. Is that better? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. I need to reattach the end of this network cable because it doesn't have the the plastic piece. So uh, it slides out. So I'm like, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> Did you say give me a drink? I was going to ask the same thing. Good song. Great band. You Worry Me is my favorite. Oh, You Worry Me is so good. They have some new ones out too, like within the last 
several months. Yeah, that face. Um, <laughs> all right. He yeah uh, he's he, he's pretty much not given a whole lot. Central Europe is pretty much all he knows. Have you had any correspondence with the uh, higher ups since they left? Yes, I received some information the other day that says that they would be sending for the remainder of the troops, along with me, um, two days henceforth. Two days from now, then. Indeed. So somebody of more use might show up in about two days? And that's what they said, but... And he looks around, and he's like, Most of the forces that you've fought... <laughs> he holds his thought... <laughs> were, as you could clearly tell, inadequate. They left me with, like, the green ones, the newest of the bunch. <clears throat> How many people? Or do you um, have the letter still? All the correspondences are in, in my office. Back in the building. That would be very interesting, I guess. No, I, you guys went back to HQ with him. List leans forward and just goes, Central Europe is a pretty big location. You don't have anything more specific. You weren't given any languages that you might need to brush up on. And he, he is quickly worrying about his feet. Uh, and becoming bone broth, and so his brain is spinning. German, German. They, they. I remember some of them laughing and talking in German. The pull like on his second toe. No. Are you sure it was German? Yes. You holding anything else out on us? I don't know. My mother was a horrible woman. She thought she could cook, but she couldn't. That was the f food was very yeah. bland. My father was food. My father was a drunk. Well, sorry to hear that. And I'm a bastard. <laughs> he just breaks down. <laughs> You're going to eat me, aren't you? I probably taste horrible. List then pipes in and goes, "We can, you can live without your toes." I've soiled myself. I'm staying out of this. Gaz right. feels no remorse. I feel really bad. <laughs> I said, Moonin said his piece. And yeah, just watching this unfold, it's just like, okay. All I know, uh, some of the soldiers had mentioned heading back into Germany. <clears throat> I don't know what for. List then, then asks, do you speak German in German? Looks at Gage and then looks at Emrys, who's been standing there quietly, and goes, do you speak German? Or do you speak whatever that was? He doesn't know what that was. He's like, what was that? I don't know what, what she said. I don't know, Stu. What was it? <laughs> Stuart! <laughs> Bone also, isn't there a, a cantrip that cleans like a one foot area? Press the digitation. Yeah, press the digitation. Yeah, Liss is just going to be like, and you're clean. I don't we don't have that. Up. We're divine casters. We're not arcane. I have it. It's one of my oh. bonus spells. Spell is so useful. It really is. Pick it up as a uh, 
pick it up so that way you can walk around being gassy, but all your farts smell like roses. Roses really smell like poo poo. I'm sorry. There's a song for everything. Outcast. So, is there anything? You were... yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Is there anything else important, like probably going to Germany, that you might or might not be keeping from us? As he would pick his foot up again and like set it in his leg, <clears throat> like start stroking his foot. <laughs> Just listless hands play, play get a, like rather large pair of scissors like comically large like they should not be in her bag like and the kind look... you used to like cut ribbon with at a at a store no 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 like a bone oh, like... saw like uh -oh. amputation scissors like big ass shears <laughs> oh no i won't need those if i wanted his toes i'd just take them Plucks them off as if you're plucking a child's nose. <laughs> Magic tricks. <laughs> so, <laughs> you <laughs> got your toe. Got your big, got your big toe. Look at that. <laughs> Put some ketchup on there. Uh. Got your toe. Uh. <laughs> it's the whole, uh, you know, popsicle in the back from the Punisher thing. Yes. You deaden the nerves. So it feels amazingly cold. And he's over here cooking a steak at the same time. <laughs> yep. I don't care um, what anybody says. I liked that version. Don't get me wrong. John Bernthal is the Punisher from now on out, but I like Thomas Jane's version. Uh. Uh. So. <clears throat> I don't know. I believe I've told you everything that I know. You believe or you have? I have. I don't know anything else. You don't know where precisely in Germany that we Look might be going? at me! Do you think they would tell me where they were going? I mean, I've pissed myself twice now. And he's going to eat my foot. I just I'm gonna... want to go home. Just I'm to see to what he change. does. Continuing with inside voice, just, what's your favorite color? Not really looking at him, just kind of like minding my own business. But... He just looks around and he goes, Blue? <laughs> He's like, so he just, all you guys see is him do this, Blue? <laughs> While they torture this poor fucking soul, can I go look in his office? You can. I'm not, I'm not part of the, my information <laughs> getting is stab now figure out the information later so uh are you taking anyone with you um i think i'm okay unless somebody does want to come with me <clears throat> um yeah Liz is bored with this she's like mm, this was fun but he soiled himself twice and i'm not cleaning it up a second time so uh so she just comes with you to passively look at things to see if there's anything of importance <laughs> there are no bakeries wise. <laughs> I'm just going to look for paperwork. <clears throat> it's finally okay. happened. Emrys and Lys have gone off on their own. I'm to shenanigans. The uh, the building is being worked over by people who are basically just a sub level below lo or above looting. In other words, you're not smashing the place to bits, but you can tell that things are being scott. Absconded with nothing off of the upper floors yet, though. As you go up, you go up to where you saw him kind of hold up, um, and you see his door. It's a nameplate with his or a nameplate on the door with his name in it. Um, opening it up, it's a very small office. Like this looks like somebody who was given an accommodation and or given accommodation and then was like an afterthought until they were like, oh, I guess we better give him a space. Um, he has two upright metal file cabinets, and they and then his a very small desk with an ink blotter on it, and you can see there's no missives or paperwork or anything else on it. It's just the desk with the and it's, I say small. It's got like three drawers on the side, and then the two filing cabinets, and that's about it. Okay. 
I basically just want to see like what sort of paperwork he's got around in like drawers or anything like that. If I can find the letter that he was sent, because if I remember correctly, he said it was up here. Mm -hmm. Uh, give me an investigation check. Mm -hmm. I even have a message. No. It's intelligence if you don't. Mine's a seven, but my passive uh, investigation is 16. I rolled a 17. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the drawers are very sparsely filled with anything. I mean, like, he could tell he was not very high up. Um, so like, it's very two beast tall, like there's four, uh, drawers in each one of the cabinets. And as you open them, it's just a lot of empty space in there with a couple of files. Um, the drawer that is in the desk, the lower one, which is deep enough to hold files does seem to have missives from recent times. Um, one of them is an order telling him to press his people into service. Uh, to help fill the ranks at the location. Uh, there's another one that says that there are, um, that they'll be removing troops until, uh, they'll be removing troops until the director building in London is emptied. Uh, and then you find the one that you're looking for. Uh, the, there is no, um, like, originating point for it. It's just, you know, like done on a memo head. It's to the office of, you know, Officer Napier, and then it says, um, arriving two days henceforth, we will uh, put in by train into London. We'll evacuate the remaining troops that are in London via train back to Germany. Okay. Actually, um, no, it doesn't say Germany. It says back to our, our return location. Sorry. Because I forgot, he didn't know it was Germany. So it says returning back to their return location. Okay. So not even doing, like, the smudge stick to see if they can write, um, see if they, like, press too hard in other spots to see if I could find the address on the papers would work. Um, it's all tight. It's all tight. Fuck. Okay. Never mind then. Um, uh -huh. So... Is there anywhere else in this building that might have, like, more paperwork that didn't get moved or anything? You would need to investigate the building, which I'm sure is what you're going to do now. So, please give me investigation checks. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. But my you're... passive, because I took observant, is 16. Hate the idea of passively investigating. Investigation takes the act of looking for something that is a clue. How can you passively look for clues? Anyways, you can, you can I passively can... browse things. I mean, but I'm that's where... for something specific. But see, that's the thing, though, is that if I'm walking through a room and notice something's out of place, that's passive perception because I perceive a difference in that thing investigating means that you are looking for inconsistencies. You're looking for clues. You're looking for things in there. I just, I have a problem in my brain of resolving passive, which means you're not doing it with an active motive. Breathing is passively done because you don't think about it. How can you not think about investigating when you're investigating? It just, it just bothers me. Uh, anyways, that being said, what was your, what was your investigation score again? It was five. She didn't find anything, but those okay. are going in dice jail, so I'm grabbing my dice. <laughs> All right. And uh, Emerus, what did, uh, what did you have? Twelve. Um, you do see some offices on the upper floors that look like they might be for some higher-ups. Okay. Definitely something to check out then. Okay. Um, on the fifth floor, you see a bank of offices that would be like kind of centralized to the building. Okay. Um, and you can see that there are no nameplates on them. It looks like they've been removed recently. Uh, however, none of the offices are locked. They're just closed. Okay. Um, uh, what? 
as you open one of them, you see a large, like, table in the middle of this room. Large, like, a big dining room table would be. Um, there are no chairs around it. But you can see where it looks like small wooden carved pieces have been moved to the side. Does it look like a map? There are no maps on the table, but it looks like it may have been big enough to hold maps. What do the pieces look like? Um, They're just kind of nondescript, like, little monoliths. You can see, like, there are a couple of different ones. There's taller ones and shorter ones. Giving you the indication that, like, shorter ones could be for a certain number, larger ones being for more of those. But it doesn't look like they have, like, any design. They're not, like, carved like chess pieces or anything. I don't, so what I want to do is not to, like, investigate the room. She just kind of wants to look around and see if, like, the, like, if anything looks out of place. She wants to do perception. <laughs> All right, go for it. Haha, not 20. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you, looking around the room, you, at first, you don't notice anything. You see a bookcase. That's in the back. Um, and as you notice, you can see underneath the edge of it, like a piece of paper fluttered down and was lost under the way. You can see the edge of it sticking out just underneath the edge of the bookcase. She she goes over to the to the piece of paper and like gently like tries to see if it will come out. But mm -hmm. if it looks like it has any sort of resistance, she's going to call Emrys over. No, it it you know it slides out like there was just enough room for it to kind of like flutter, and it was just a happenstance that it got right under there. Um, as you pull it out, you can see that it is the last page of a much larger document. Um, it has just a few, like one, like not even a real sentence, just like one part of a sentence. Um, but you can see that it says the one piece of information that you might be interested in, a name that you've seen before, Innsbruck. Did it look like they were going to Innsbruck? Did they look like they were talking about it? in like a historical context or no idea is just it, randomly on this page. It is the last line of a sentence that says check once again Innsbruck. Check once again in Innsbruck. But you don't know if that means they're checking again in Innsbruck or if there's something more that they need to check again in Innsbruck, you know, what it is. You just see that part of it. I assume this is also typed. Mm -hmm. Liss hands the um, hands the piece of paper over to um, Emrys and is now looking closer at this bookcase to see if there is things around it, if there are books that are odd um, that don't seem like they should be there. There are no books on it. Everything in the office was taken. It looks like as they were leaving or maybe as they were moving out of this room, the last loose piece of paper fell and just kind of landed under there. Okay. Um, were there other rooms that we needed to like go and open? You can check. There, there are three more like rather large offices in here. Um, give me give me three more um i'll let you do either investigation or perception either one all right i have two that are over 20 do you want the exact numbers no that's fine which stat we're using perception 
Yeah, perception. I got perception okay. for all of them. All of them are over 20. Okay. What about you, Emrys? Investigation or perception? Uh, it'll be perception. It's my okay. better stat. Uh, 12, 8, 21. Okay. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> looking for the first room, there's nothing out of place. As a matter of fact, you can tell from the way that this is orderly and like nothing was left behind. This may have been one of the first offices to have been vacated or it was never really used. Either way, it is completely cleaned out. The second one, um, you see like some books about um, like places in London but nothing more. Um, the last one there, again, it's nothing, but as you're looking around, at first you don't see anything. As you're looking around in the last office, um, there is an ink blotter that is on this desk that's been left behind, and you can see, like, some writing on there. Now, they're using this as ink blotter, so it could be... A bunch of random things. So, but if you want to try to do, you know, the rubbing, you absolutely can. Okay. Yeah. All right. You pull out a piece of graphite. I assume you have a, a piece of graphite or a pencil or something on you. Yeah, I have. Um... What's that word? It's um. I have a forgery kit. Oh, yeah. Then you would definitely have something. All right, so you quickly take it out and you kind of scribble on where you can see things. Most of them seem to be nondescript. Uh, you see like um, sea rations. You see words that are written here and there. Um, one of them says Zurich. And it has an arrow, but wherever that arrow, like Zurich and then a line and then whatever else is there. Must have been written on something else because it doesn't leave it. But you can see that they say Zurich. So now you have Zurich and you have Innsbruck, which Innsbruck is in Austria, for those of you who don't remember. Okay. That's where our druid friend is. Uh, close to there. Um, if you were to like keep the arrow with, and like put it like on a map with like how Zurich is written, would it might point to the direction that this was going? Um, I mean, you can draw conclusions from a lot of things, but <laughs> remember that Zurich is in Switzerland, not in Germany, but, uh, yeah. Um, Liz is going to wander. She wants the nameplate of Napier for some reason. Um and she would also is there going to be like a um like a first aid kit or like a medical medical like area in the like in the HQ? It? Yeah in HQ there is. We're not in HQ, right? Are we in no. HQ? No. No. Where we are right now, is there a medical area? Um, yeah, there is. She would like to go there and try to loot some of the things. Okay. It's not a very big place. It's more like a school nurse's office. So you can find some bandages, um, some ibuprofen. And pretty much it. She takes it and she puts it in into her bag and just, you know, wanders back up to see if Emrys is done with his sketching. All right. You don't find anything else in the rest of the building. I mean, you find some things, but they don't really seem important. They don't really point in any one direction or another. Hey. You heading back over? Yeah. Hey. Uh, as you head back over there, you can see that there is, uh, you know, people are sort of getting ready. Uh, Colm is out, and he is currently talking to Hatchet Annie. Um, she seems to be having a conversation, and you hear her say, 
Don't go forgetting now. You owes us a debt, you do. It's a bill that we'll come calling for some day, Aunt Com. Don't you know it? I'm aware. I've had to make some unscrupulous deals, but you'll get yours, you and Philip, and the rest of those who've helped us this evening. Take no mind of that. She looks over at uh, the building that's standing up. She says, What I need, I believe, is a new home. A penthouse. A high rise, a flat. Sure. Let it stand, burn it down. That building is not my problem anymore. So, have with it what you want. Uh. But again, thanks to you and to Philip and all of your ravens for your assistance. They're rooks, love, but I'll thank, I'll make sure they know. Of course. She pats him on the arm and then heads off somewhere towards the bu building. Um, he catches your eye, Emrys. You out? You and Liss out investigating something? Looking around, really. Though, no. so, I do have a question, Home. Sure, certainly. Can you track the whereabouts of where? And I'll hold up one of the letters. This may have come from. I mean, we have a rough no. estimate. But... I don't have a way of doing that, unfortunately. If I had, let's say, the letter, but the envelope was missing, or vice versa, I might be able to track something down. But... It appears as though all the pieces are here. Sorry, you're on your own this this one. What uh, what did you find though? Yes, Liz. Could you could you perhaps do it with ink and a pen? Consider oh wait, it's a typewriter. Could you do it with ink from the typewriter and the pen? Or the ribbon that goes on a typewriter? Um that would be a real trick. Right now, as it stands, I don't have the ability to do that. But I'll ruminate on that one. What information did you find? Not, not much. There were pieces on a board, probably a battle strategy of some sort. And mm -hmm. there was... Um, something about Innsbruck um, on this one piece of paper and I don't know if Emmer's found anything else. I really just went looking for the original letter. That's all. Hmm. I'm... I don't know why they would go back to Innsbruck. I mean, the Treaty of Innsbruck was there for... The end of the war. I mean, magic doesn't work there, so if you're going to arrest magic users and... Well, I shouldn't say it doesn't work there, but it's weird. So if you're going to arrest magic users and place them somewhere where they couldn't use their skills, that would be a good place to put them. Zurich, though, you said? No? Okay, you didn't mention that? I'm sorry. Liss wouldn't know that. Liss oh, that's the right. the one that did the shading, so Liss has no idea. Oh, right. sorry. Whenever you said a word, I thought that's what you said. Sorry, no, I would have mentioned it. Zurich is in Switzerland. I mean, it's directish path from there to Innsbruck through Liechtenstein, but, I mean... One could get that way. 
especially if there was no direct route into Innsbruck itself, it would probably be a safer route to take. Hmm. When did you say the train was going to arrive? Two days. It's awfully bold of them. I wonder if there'll be much in the way of escort. Or probably assume they have a force here left to deal with, so they can handle it themselves. Well then. <clears throat> What should we do with our time in the meantime? Now, would it, would the train that was going to Germany, would there be multiple stops that would be going to Germany or would it be like one? Okay. <laughs> um, so. That is information would... outside of anybody's knowledge at this point in time. Liz would probably suggest yeah. going and looking at, um, looking at things uh, and looking at train schedules to see if there is like a train that was like going to a specific part in Germany or like what the train schedule actually was considering that we only sort of know about. Okay. Um, yeah, you can head over to, to the, to the tubes or to the train station. Um, most of the schedule there is civilian and you don't see anything that looks like it's going straight to Germany. It looks like they're all going across the across the sea into France, but nothing that looks like it's coming straight from Germany straight to France. It all looks like it's going across, and then you make other trips. Um, does there look like there is a like a higher up person at the train station that I might question? I mean, <clears throat> again, keeping in mind that this is a civilian operation and that would be what they consider to be a military or government operation, it's probably not going to have the information you're looking for. But yes, to answer the question, there is a manager of that station. Liz would go and try and like ask the manager if they knew anything about the military operation and just be like, I'm so sorry, I lost my letter. I had no idea what the time is. And she still has her patch. So like she'd show off her patch and she'd be like, I'm going to get in so much trouble if I don't arrive in Germany when I'm supposed to. But I don't remember the time. Um, they don't... They don't normally clear those sorts of things with us, but I'll go and see what I can find. You wait right there, love. And he pops off into the office. Um, <clears throat> he is sharply dressed in a suit with a broad tie. He has a, a, hat, a nice hat on, and he comes back out holding a ledger that he has open. Says here they're supposed to pop in around, um... Yeah, like you said, a few days. A couple of days now. Um, looks like you're supposed to pop around track three around eight in the morning. That's an odd time. But that track is open and used for cargo loading and unloading. Really has nothing to do with passenger wise, so to speak. So there we are. She thanks him profusely and then goes back to HQ to tell everyone what she has found. All right. Back at HQ, you unveil the information. Bruno stands there with his arms crossed, looking spiffy and smart as usual. Um, <clears throat> Colm uh, takes the information and kind of ponders it. You can see he has a map laid out, and he has a pen pushed in with a little flag on it. You know, just kind of mark where it's at. Pushed into where Zurich is, Switzerland. And he's got another one punched into where Innsbruck is. And he's got this, like, string stretched between the two of them. He has another one that goes from Zurich to Paris. Paris to a city off the coast of France, the northern side that I can't remember right now, that goes across to Dover, that then goes up to... Uh, London. And it's like all strung together. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the route they'll take, but 
It makes a lot of sense. Paris to F Zurich. Zurich to Innsbruck. The only thing about Innsbruck, and he points at this ridge that's drawn. You know, it's a map. So this ridged-looking thing, and he says there's a very... There's not an insubstantial amount of mountain between the two of them. You're either going to go through it, but I don't think there's a tunnel there. Or you're going to go over it, which this time of year, probably not the best idea. Or you're going to go around it, either to the north or to the south. To the north makes more sense. Unless this is all a red herring to begin with in the first place. They could be going from Zurich to Munich, and then south to Innsbruck, which don't have a lot of information. I think our next best bet is to get onto the train and figure out where they're going. What say you lot? List just nods her head and goes, "Yeah, I think I think the train is probably going to be a a good idea, um, but I don't know if it's going to be an an actual passenger ship or a weird cargo ship that they're going to or a cargo train. Um, but I'm good for that. That sounds good to me. Also, at some point, she'd like to give the nameplate to the guy that she stole. Oh, okay." Well, in either case, we have two days to decide on what we're going to do. So, let's come up with a plan. And as you guys sit forth looking at the map on the table, trying to decide what your next move is going to be, like I said, it's going to be a short episode tonight. That's what we're going to actually call it tonight. Uh, thank you to all of my watchers and my players. I know it was a short episode. I'm going to go get some rest. I know Otter is going to go crash hard into whatever he calls a bed. That man looks worn the hell out. Um, but we will be back again next week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and for playing with us. And don't forget, tomorrow night, we're back with Star Wars with Jason as we uh as they fly throughout the galaxy in a space opera cowboy western thing and with all that being said we love you guys thank you all so much we'll see you next week good night <clears throat>